Using an iMac as an external display for a docked Nintendo Switch? Sounds weird, but yeah, it's actually possible thanks to this little device right here, the Elgato HD60S. I'll show you how it's done in this video. The Elgato HD60S is a product that is used mainly for streaming game content to services like Twitch, for example. You simply connect from the source via HDMI input and connect to your Mac with a USB 3 cable. Now, as I stated at the outset, the source, of course, is the Nintendo Switch. And as you are no doubt aware of, the great thing about the Switch is that it is both a portable machine and also is a traditional console thanks to this little dock right here. So we simply take the HDMI output from the dock and connect it to the input on the HD60S capture device. So let's set it up right now. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the HDMI cable to the dock. Just plugs in like that. And I'll plug in the Switch's power adapter. Handy USB-C reversible cable. So just close the dock like that. So now it's just a matter of connecting the HDMI cable from the dock to the capture device and also connecting the USB-C cable that comes from my iMac so that my computer can recognize the capture device. So HDMI cable from the dock, USB-C cable from the iMac, and you can see it powers on just like that. So I've tidied up all the cables to make it look real nice and clean. And now it's waiting on the Nintendo Switch. So we'll just remove the two Joy-Cons from the Switch. One and two. So here's our Switch Joy-Con-less. And we'll go ahead and dock it. Just like that. Now on our iMac, just need to fire up the Game Capture HD software. Slow that up here. And you can see it's instantly recognized, folks. We'll put it in full screen mode and it auto adjusts to full screen just like that. So ladies and gentlemen, there is my Nintendo Switch outputting directly to my iMac thanks to the Game Capture HD software and of course the Game Capture hardware. And you can see it's very responsive. The nice thing about that HD60S is that it's very low latency, folks. And that's why this works. It's because it's the computer that's actually processing the video directly thanks to that fast USB 3.0 connection. So in other words, you're gonna need a pretty fast computer to make this work right. In fact, Elgato was recommending a computer with a quad core processor. Now there are lots of settings inside the Game Capture HD software. Obviously you wanna set it to 1080p, but the real important setting is this right here. Allow 60 frames per second for video preview because it's the preview that we're using. We're not actually using this to capture anything. Our main concern is with the video preview, which is what is allowing us to view the Nintendo Switch in real time. Now I'm not gonna sit here and recommend that you go out and buy an HD60S to output the Nintendo Switch on your IMAX display, but I wanted to show that it could be done. Obviously your mileage may vary. It's gonna depend on your computer, the speed of the computer, and how it's able to process the video data. Now I'm running this on the mid 2017 entry level IMAX with a RAM upgrade, and I'm actually shocked at how well this runs at 60 frames per second. In the case of Mario Kart, if you're playing a one or two player game, uh, it does run at 60 frames per second. So this is a good test for this setup. And I was thoroughly impressed by the way this setup performs. When I press a button on the Joy-Con, it responds immediately. And I have to say, overall, I'm really satisfied by the way this setup performs. Now, it's not perfect. On some rare occasions, I did notice screen tearing, and you may notice some slowdown or lag here or there, but for the most part, I was extremely satisfied with this setup. Again, this isn't something that I'm gonna advocate everyone go out and do, because most of you are probably using your Switch with a television anyway. However, it is nice to know that a very low latency option like this exists in case the need arises. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5toys.